Okay, so this is going to be the first video that we're going to add to our assessment recovery channel on Sophia.org. And this particular video is about solving word problems in the number system standard, which we just finished. But you do have a chance to fix this quiz if you have not already. And this quiz had 10 word problems in it with multiple choice answers. I'm not going to go over the actual problems in the quiz because some of you have seen them a bunch of times already, but I thought I would go over some different word problems and just see if uh, me modeling you solving some of these word problems will help you. So the, one of the things that we talked about in my classroom, and I hope I remember all this, but is um, buck, B-U-C-K, and buck stands for boxing the question which a lot of times is the last sentence, underlining the numbers, um, circling the vocabulary. There's a lot of vocabulary that indicates what vocabulary, oops, Larry. There's a lot of vocabulary that indicates what um, operation you're going to use, vocabulary. And then what with this, I don't know, making buck work, kapow, the stuff you don't need. Sometimes word problems have things in them that you don't need. The stuff you don't need. And then another thing that we talked about in my class was um, SOS, simplify, simplify, organize, and um, solve. Uh, one thing that I notice in um, class when we're doing word problems is a lot of times maybe some of you solve math problems like you read for a test and we're all guilty of this. We read a question, we don't read the, the reading, you know, the selection, we read the questions and then we try to go fishing in the reading for the answer. We've all been guilty of it and probably you've uh, extended that to math word problems as well where you look at a math problem, you don't read it, you just pick out the two numbers and then pick one of the operations. So a lot of word problems will have, you know, a couple numbers, shorthand for numbers, and then you know that there's four operations. You could add, you could subtract, you could multiply, or you could divide. Those are the, your four choices, basically. So what I see a lot of times in middle school math classrooms is you'll find the two numbers and then you'll just randomly pick an operation and solve it and hope one of the answers is there for the multiple choice. But that's not really how it's supposed to work. You should read the question once. You should read the question again. You should, and you should find the correct numbers because sometimes there'll be an extra number or sometimes the numbers will be in a word instead of in a number. And you have to find the vocabulary that indicates what operation you're doing and then you have to actually answer the question that you're being asked. So let's look at a couple examples. All right. Jacob and his best friend found some money in an envelope. They split the money evenly, each getting $29.80. How much money did they find? So just looking at this, it looks like there's only one number in it. You can see there's 2980. There's one number. There's got to be another number in there somewhere. Let's read it again. Jacob and his best friend found some money in an envelope. They split the money evenly, hmm, evenly, each getting $29.80. How much money did they find? Well, how many people are there? There's Jacob and there's his best friend. So it sounds like they're splitting money between two people. So then you have to ask yourself, is this the total amount of money or is this half the money? So let's read it again. Jacob and his best friend found some money in an envelope. They split the money evenly, each getting $29.80. So it sounds like each of them has $29.80 out of this envelope. $29.80, $29.80. So they want to know, and here's the question, how much money did they find? So what operation are we going to have to do? We're going to have to add it all together, right? So we're going to add. You could also multiply by 2, depending on how you uh, feel about this. So let's see, let's multiply by 2. 2980 times 2. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 
Does that look reasonable? Well, two thirties would be 60. And that's pretty close. So that looks pretty reasonable. And that's probably your solution. Now, again, this isn't multiple guess, so, or multiple choice, but that's a good indication that we're probably on the right track. So let's go back to the word problems. Let's look at number two. Imani is cooking bread. The recipe calls for eight cups of flour. She accidentally put in nine cups. How many extra cups did she put in? All right, this should be easy for everybody. Let's go through the steps. So it says to circle or box, sorry, the question. How many extra cups did she put in? That's the question. We're going to underline the important numbers. So we have eight cups of flour and nine cups of flour. We're going to underline the important vocabulary that tells us what operation we're actually doing. How many extra? How many extra? And then is there anything that we don't really need to know? Well, we don't really know, need to know she's making bread, but it's not going to impact us. So we have nine and we have eight, and we have to decide which operation are we talking about. How many extra, to me, indicates subtraction? I think what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the eight cups she was supposed to use from the nine cups she did use, and then we'll find out that she had one cup too many. And let me just say this now while I'm talking about it. You should always have a word in the answer to a word problem. I'm going to pause this here. I'll start a new video. We'll do another couple problems, and then you'll be able to go and fix your quiz.